Hi, I'm Luke, the Security Engineering Lead in Red Hat's Office of the CTO. I would like to start off with a thank you to the CD Foundation and the organisers of this event, and to all of you attending today, whether that be virtual or in person. It's been a challenging time for us all, but no more so than for the events industry. Many thanks and kudos to them for allowing me to perform a last minute switch to a pre-recorded keynote. In a parallel universe, I would be in sunny LA. Alas, instead, I'm in the rather rainy UK, having just got back from the school run. Security of the supply chain has become one of the leading conversations at the heart of information technology. We've seen a flurry of media coverage, and as you all know, we have the attention of everybody, from tech leaders to the US president himself. But before we get into this, let's do a recap to look at how we arrived at our present juncture. The past decade has seen a tidal wave of innovation and disruption to information technology. Software as we know it is eating the world and a majority of it is open source. In parallel to the incredible adoption rate of open source software, we've also seen automation accelerate and disrupt the core paradigms of how we develop, build and ship software. There is an old saying, no individual is an island the same now holds true for software. No open source software is an island. Your average code base, both open source and proprietary, now depends on a wide reaching ecosystem of open source projects in the form of what we term dependencies. Let's take Kubernetes as an example, where the dependency matrix is currently at a count of 513. In fact, it's likely even more since I recorded this talk. React Native's yarn dependency file currently contains 7,109 lines. Now let's get this straight. There are no fingers being pointed here. I develop in precisely the same way, and so we should. It's what makes open source software development tick and has enabled the incredible volume of innovation we have seen within software engineering. Dependencies, as we all know well, are managed on behalf of the application by often bespoke packaging systems. However, there is a common paradigm where different levels of attention are granted to security. I think it's fair to say that when we look into the average open source packaging system, security has all too often been shoehorned into the project as a later feature, when maintainers and users have already settled on a familiar workflow, lacking a basic security protection system, such as software sign-in. A good number of packaging systems have no security at all. Let's take Rust for example, a language I admire greatly that introduces security as a first class element with strict enforcement of memory safety. Yet with all of those great guarantees we get, the packaging system Cargo pulls in untrusted code as they do not have a basic cryptographic signing system. We also continue to struggle with the application of identity, even more so in a world of abstraction from hardware, where most workloads have an ephemeral state. Now I realise I'm sounding harsh and appear to be pointing fingers here, but it's a serious topic folks. It is now common that critical infrastructure systems use open source software. We are talking telecommunications, health, banking, military, all vital services that we rely on to be present when we awake each morning. Systems that we rely on to communicate and care for ourselves and our loved ones. It really is that serious. This goes above mere buzzwords. It penetrates deep into the heart of our society. We have a duty, which is arguably a moral one, to do the right thing here. I would like to take the liberty to outline a vision for a destination which I believe is very much within our grasp. The building blocks are there and some smart people have rallied around various open source projects that are grappling with the problem and writing code to try and solve these issues. I believe with these component parts and further innovations, we can begin a journey towards an end-to-end -end secure supply chain with total provenance, integrity assurance, transparency, non-repudiation, from commit to production. It's no surprise that I would start with Sigstore. Just over a year ago, I wrote a simple prototype for a software supply chain transparency log named Recore. The idea was to essentially capture build system metadata within an immutable transparency log. I could see this could alleviate some of the key concerns around supply chain attacks by providing an open auditable and a means to quickly establish the blast radius of an attack, such as a key compromise. Sigstore is now a vibrant growing community with over 90 contributors producing on average 500 pull requests in a month. In under two years, we've seen the project covered in mainstream media and large tech companies come forward to tell us how they plan to use Sigstore and contribute. Sigstore's call to action is software signing for the masses so that anybody can sign a container image, a software bill of materials or any other 
other artifact, whether that be a blob or a tarball. We are also in the final plans of launching a free-to-use non-profit public goods service. Sigstore is a great example of individuals rising above competition to solve a problem for the common good of all. In Sigstore, we plan to be to software sign-in what Let's Encrypt was to HTTPS. My next project is Tekton CD Chains. Tekton CD Chains realizes supply chain security in Tekton pipelines. Chains, to use its moniker, allows Kubernetes users to perform the cryptographic sign-in of Tekton build pipelines. Over the past few years, Chains has seen many new features, such as creation of attestations and integration with Project Sigstore's ReCore. I believe Chains will be a central part of providing machined-based non-repudiation, integrity verification, and SBOM generation within a cloud-native environment. The update framework needs no introduction to most security folks. At its core, it addresses one of the most scary horror stories that can play out in the security world, key compromise. There is, of course, a lot more to tough, most of all its ability to play out role delegation. The update framework underpins the trust route of Sigstore, and it was very exciting to bootstrap the whole process alongside the tough community. I believe Intoto will be to S-bombs what wheels were to cars. By leveraging Intoto, we can record provenance as artifacts and machine operations interact with the various actors that constitute a supply chain. I see Spiffy and Spire as an integral part of machine identity and hybrid cloud federation within a supply chain. It is of course much more than that as well, with its position within the realm of zero trust computing. I think the only thing they may have got wrong was coming up with a name I could say more easily. Finally, we have Keylime. Some of you may not be aware of Project Keylime. With the previous technologies, we can measure artifacts as they move through a supply chain and verify the provenance. But what about when it's deployed into production? Do we consider it out of our hands? No, of course not. Keylime is able to remotely measure the digest of an artifact at execution time within the kernel. This allows us to measure provenance at runtime. This means we can capture and measure and verify the entire software development lifecycle. I'm very excited to see more innovation and more projects enter this space. We also have some great minds in some amazing communities looking to solve these challenges. We have the OpenSSF and the CNCF security and the existing work they are carrying out with the supply chain security tag. We also have the efforts of SBDX to drive adoption of the SBOM standard. I believe all of these projects get us a good way towards an end-to-end -end secure supply chain where we have non-repudiation, integrity verification, and provenance from commit to production. So I would like to end with the following message. I implore you to come and get involved in all of this exciting work. Let's do the right thing. Let's work together and collaborate to solve what is a critical issue of our time.